I'm Alicia, your prop money millionaire, cash stuffing, budgeting teacher, single mom of three. It's time again to these hands. These hands and bands. Hello, friends. Welcome back to Hands and Bands. I'm Alicia, your prop money millionaire, cash stuffing, budgeting teacher, single mom of three. And we are doing our weekly check in. I am. I'm worried a little bit. <laughs> so, I don't. My little sticker, real quick, side, side note, give me one over here. My little sticker, remember I added this to my mat and I didn't, I did not do the heat transfer vinyl. I kind of wish I had, and I think I'm going to redo it. I recorded a video that's not going to air until like next week when I ask you about your opinion about this. So <laughs> you might hear me talk about it again. <laughs> and this is my paperweight made by, crafted by Free Budget with Free, um, but I'm going to put that there so it has my little name on there. This is my Erin Condren Focus Teacher Planner. It is um, a vertical planner, but I use it horizontally. I said that wrong. It's a horizontal planner, but I use it vertically. So we're going to use our last week here of June and then the first two days of July. Make sure we can see everything. Okay. So what I want to do is go through, add up what we've spent, and then pull it out, and then also make sure we have some money pulled for our buffer for next um next summer's bills yes okay so normally I do this off camera and then come back with you and then show you after I've already done most of it but I'm gonna show you legit like I haven't done anything I haven't gone through I haven't checked I haven't added that nothing 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 right here is normally where I would add or write in the amounts but since I took some so much space up from the last one I'm gonna put it on a post-it and just staple it in later okay so what I do is I go through my week and I see what the categories are. And once I've written them once, I don't have to write them again. So we have a grocery order, so I'll write groceries, shop small, uh, that's beauty, and me kind of, both. I might have to pull for me too. Um, B-Day fun will come from summer, donuts is family, shop small again, Hair and Beauty again, Gift, Burger King is Family, Robin Hood is Invest, uh, says Me and Business, so we'll put Me, and then Business, Business again, B-Day Fun is Summer, Beauty Supply would be um, Beauty, Duncan is Me, and then Shop Small is already here. Okay, so those are all the categories we've done this week. Hold on one second, sorry. I was like, I turned my phone ding off, but I didn't turn my, my computer ding off. <laughs> okay, so we only did groceries once. Look at us getting better with the groceries. I thought I would spend more being at home, but we are doing better because I'm not going as overboard, I think, because I am home and we're cooking and staying home versus having to go to school and, like, all of our summer school stuff is over, so we're just home. So 142.24 for groceries, and then just put a little check mark once I've actually written that one down. Um, shop small we have one here for 304 another one so we're gonna start adding these up so 304 plus 2791 and I'm gonna use this one for shop small 1850 I might have gone over 4945 I don't know if I have that much in there but I can also use money from gifts because those are both gifts as well so that's what we have for shop small um, beauty also one I've gone a little over I believe 14, but it's also family stuff, so I can pull from family if I need to. Um, 47 here, and for my own money, because this was some of mine too. Gift, and then 50 here. 139.58. So if you go over on something, this is what I'm talking about. You have to kind of see where else you can pull from. I know that some of the beauty stuff I bought was for my personal use as well, so I can pull from my own money. Um, some of the shop small items were also from me buying people gifts, so I can pull from gifts as well. So I have a little flexibility. B-Day Fun, 176.33. I've already prepaid for one of our events for my birthday. And then this is also a spa gift for myself for our B-Day Fun. I'm going to pull that from there. 272.41 for our summer buffer money from the trip that we're not taking. <laughs> Family, we got donuts here for 14, and then Burger King 977, and oh, I did this one. 
think that's it. So we have $23.77 for family. And then gifts, we have $44.53. That's it. Again, I might have to pull some from there to cover the shop small. We'll see. Where are we now? Robin Hood, 20 invest. And we just have business and me left. Me, I spent $4. Again, I might have to pull some from there for beauty. And then for business, oh, and me is Amazon here, 11. So we're actually 11 here and here. This is actually 11. And then business is 40 plus 7139. So that's 11139. I think that's all of them. All right, let's see what our total is. This is definitely what I do. So this is, you're getting the raw footage. You're getting what this is actually like. Eight fourteen thirty sevens are grand total. I don't think I even gassed up this week because I ended up getting gas really late. Look at that. I'll have some good gas rollover money. Okay. So these, these, <laughs> this is what I have for our grand totals. I know we're going to the book because we have this little ch cheat sheet now. So what I normally do then is pull the money out of the different accounts. But before I get into those, I want to do the buffer. I want to go into my cash binder. And now we know what we spent in each category for the week. So, for example... Um, for my money, I'm gonna leave that because that's for all summer. Okay, so for family, we spent twenty-three seventy-seven, and we have forty in here. So forty minus twenty-three point seven seven will leave us with sixteen twenty-three. I'm just gonna put sixteen. Is that right? Seventeen. Oh, twenty-three. I'm rounding up. Twenty-four. Yeah. <laughs> 24, which will leave us with 16. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a dollar from here. I'm going to get change. Oh, this is my change box, I should show you. So I'm taking out 15, 16, that's what we have left. I'm putting this 40 in the bank. So now I have 16 left. I'm gonna take one for the bills buffer. I don't have to pull a lot each time, but I can pull a little, right? Groceries. So I'm gonna use this little check, this little thing now to check off the ones I've taken care of in the book. And then when I go back to my actual accounts in my bank account, I'm going to cross off. That's how I kind of keep track of where I am in my process. So these are all housed in my binders with prop money. I have an account for all of these in my actual bank account. And what I do is I go through and I pull the money from set accounts and transfer it back to my credit card because every week I just use my credit card for all my purchases. I get my cashback rewards built up. I don't have any cash in my home. It's safer for me. And then at the end of the week, I just pay off my bill. Okay, so groceries, um, we have 700 in here minus 140. Say so two, so 558 is gonna be left. I've already stuffed for this week, so this isn't including what I'm gonna spend for this week. Minus 142. Let's put rec for reconcile. So then we'll have 558 left. One, two, three, four, five. Get in there. 50. And that's what I'm gonna leave in here. I'm gonna put the $8 in the buffer. Oops, I hope I'm, oh, minus eight for buffer. Forgot to write that in, the other one. Okay. This one, a dollar. So then five, Six, seven. Oh, my dog's shaking. Eight. I might want to go outside. I'll take them out next. Okay. Now we're at home in need. And we didn't do any home in need this week. We have 100 in here. 
I'm going to actually leave it for 100 because I need to stock up on paper towels and soap and laundry things. So I'm not going to pull from this one. I need that. I'm going to leave home and eat in there. Gas. I didn't have to gas up, gas up so late. So we have 190. I'm going to take 20 bucks from here. Oops. Buffer minus 20. We'll leave me with 170. 20, 40, 60, 80, 1, 20, 40, 60, 5, 70. My hands. Could not believe I started counting without sword quick. It's insane to think that you don't need sword quick in your life to keep your fingertips moist. It's hygienic and long lasting. Sword quick. The easy, clean way to get a better grip. <laughs> I totally forgot. Oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Okay. So nothing for gas, so we did the buffer. Allowance, nothing, and then the buffer, okay. That's all we're pulling for buffer this week, and so we're gonna add in, oops, 25, 27, 28, 29, $29. It's going to add up slowly, but it's going to add up 176. So plus 29, 176, buffer. Make sure I got 176. So imagine doing this all year. This is just for me doing this for three weeks. I think it'll help me also build my summer binder for next year. Okay. Oops, that's a two there. Let's see if we have 176. 50, 70, 90. Hold on. <laughs> ah, gonna count it right. 50, 70, 91, 10, 20, 30, 40, 5, 50, 5, 60, 162, 4, 6, 8, 169, 170, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There's another $2 bill. Okay. So 176. I like it. I like this whole idea. So we're done with this one. There's nothing else we need to pull from here. Actually, the me, the me spending. So we need to take out, wait, did I pull that? Yeah, I did, okay, I pulled that one and that one. So my money, I'm taking out 11. And then 189. All right. 220 minus 11, 220 minus 11, 220, 200. Oh, 220, I'm thinking 200. Oh my goodness, I was about to short myself some money. 209. All right, so I still have one, two, five, seven, nine. Normally I would pull it all out and show you how much I've pulled and counted, it, but I'm not going to do it this time since we're doing it step by step. It's so many steps already. I don't need to make this video any longer. Okay, so this one's done. All the bud all the binders are made from budget with Emmy. She's amazing. Invest. I'm going to pull out the 20. I invested in Robin Hood. All right, take it out. 6.30. I did. I already pulled it. So she'll have 145, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 45. Yeah, I already pulled it. That one, when I when I do actually invest, there's no transfer needed. That's a cash withdrawal. Robinhood doesn't take for my credit card. So this one is just so I can kind of keep track of what is already there so I can know how much I can pull. Next, or this week, I'm actually going to um, invest 40 because I needed to invest an extra 20 from a savings challenge. So that'll be fun. Okay, so we're done with that one. And business, we're taking out 111. And we have 132. 132 minus 111, 
Okay, so my camera died, and then I thought I recorded the ending again, and then I didn't. And now I've got some vinyl cutting for another project. But I just wanted to share with you very quickly. I know it's like a little bit shaky because the cricket is on the table with the camera. I'm sorry. I, it's just whatever now, right? Very quickly, I finished up with business. I think it's the last thing you saw. And so the only ones I had to pull from other um, accounts... The shop small, I only had $20 in, so I pulled $29 from Gifts. And then for Beauty, I pulled $60, and the rest I took out of my personal spending, the $80, to make the $140. And then I also used for the, where is it, for Summer, for the fun stuff we're doing, I pulled from the Travel Binder because we're not doing our road trip, remember? And so all that money that I had set aside for that, I'm using for just our events that we're doing at home. So I pulled out of activities, which is here. So 272, so remaining 328. So now I'll go through and I will take all the money out and pay my credit card back. The only thing that I don't obviously use a credit card for, again, is the investing. That's an automatic cash situation for Robinhood. But otherwise, that's it. I have completed all of my tracking for the week, my expenses. I think it's super important to track your expenses so that you not only know where your money is going in and out, but you kind of see and take a, a better handle on what you're doing with your money. And then that will help you to build. So if you can track all your expenses for, I say like, you know, give yourself a week or two. And then you can go back and say, you know what, guys, as a family or as yourself or whatever, you can say, I'm spending way too much money going to... A daily run to get a donut or I'm spending too much money getting my nails done or, and so you don't have to take you know everything out but maybe you can cut back on something instead of saying okay I'm not gonna go every day I'm gonna go three times a week or instead of getting that extra you know thing I get when I get my pedicure I'll just do that every other time you don't have to like live like oh my gosh I can't do anything but you can kind of budget and play around with what you're doing so that's what I do I track every dollar so that I know where my money is and then I can definitely make or uh, you know make or um what's the word so then i can change up habits if i need to i can make adjustments as i need to to save so that's my video sorry that i had so many issues with my um my phone after i deleted some stuff and then reset like restarted my phone then it worked fine so whatever it wasn't meant for you to see me i guess doing all of that <laughs> i don't know whatever that's it. That's my spill. I hope you have an amazing rest of your week. Thanks for joining me. I know you lying. I will be back tomorrow. All right. Bye. I like sharing my life with you.